and everybody's watching her, but she's looking at you. Well, New York's Shakespeare in the Park continued their production of Julius Caesar, which depicts the killing of a Trump lookalike every single night. Now, the show did close last night as planned, but my next guest felt she had to do something about the depiction of violence against our president. So during Friday evening's performance, Laura Loomer staged, stormed the stage, interrupting the performance, denouncing the depiction of violence against the right. And following the interruption, Loomer was, in fact, arrested by the NYPD. She joins us now. This is assassination porn, right? So the left is taking pleasure in, in watching an assassination attempt on President Trump. Shakespeare once said that violent delights uh, lead to violent ends, right? And so when you're going to delight in the assassination of our president, it's going to have a violent end. I'm protecting um, the president's life. I'm uh, protecting our Constitution. I'm using my constitutional right to, of free speech and protest to protest against the bastardization of Shakespeare, really, just an attempt to... Um, continue the normalization of political violence against the right. Hi, it's so great to see you. Well, it's great for you to be here. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Oh. So the American people would really like to know, what happened to your 33,000 emails? <laughs> what happened in Benghazi? Go read the book. You what happened to the millions of dollars that was supposed to go to the people in Haiti? You know what? I'm so sorry you believe things that are untrue. What read happened to Seth Rich? Hi, nice what to see you. What happened to your health, you Hillary? Kuma, it's so great to see you. I have a question for you. When are you going to divorce your husband for texting I'm underage girls? Step out of here. Get out. Yeah. Huma, I know that you don't want to testify against your husband, which is why you're staying married to him and you're not getting a divorce, but when are you going to, for the safety of your own son, divorce Anthony Weiner, who is a pedophile? What's going to happen to the laptop, Huma? What's going to happen to the laptop that you were sharing classified information on with your husband who was using it to sex a 15-year-old girl? What's going to happen, Huma? How could you want that? How could you not divorce a man who was sexing underage girls? I thought you were a feminist, Huma. I thought you were a feminist. Okay, I don't want to get in. Um, I appreciate what you're saying. There are the receipts that have been obtained from the valet security system that show that there are receipts. That's not how we conduct this. Well, it says that he checked in on the 25th. Has your timeline changed? Because the FBI has reported that you checked in on the 28th. Well, management. has the official timeline changed? Please stop asking your question. There's a decorum that we have here. Yes, the timeline associated with the original shot and Mr. Campos has changed. CNN, CNN does not care about New Yorkers getting mowed down by Islamic terrorists. You guys sympathize with these people? You criticize Donald Trump for trying to protect our country, and then you're going to have the nerve to come out here and act like you want to report the truth? You guys are fake news, Anderson. Fake news. Martin Luther King said that when you criticize Zionists, you criticize Jews. It's time for you to leave. You're an anti-Semite. You call for jihad in the United States. Can you please leave? It's time for you to leave. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Saying there's nothing creepier than Zionists. When you criticize Zionists, you're criticizing Jews, Linda. You are an anti-Semite, Jew hater, Linda Sarsour. Can you please leave? Cockroach. 
and everybody's watching her, but she's looking at 